Hello and welcome back to the scale form HUD tutorials. Uh, at the end of the last video, I recompiled the um, recompiled my scripts and ended up with some errors. Those errors were because I copied the uh, scripts over from a previous uh, project. Uh, I'd left some of the references to the old names in the project. So if you've copied the um, if you've copied the script that we put into the classes off the actual video, then you need to go back and look in the video descriptions. Um, and there's, uh, I can't, I'm not sure whether I'm going to put them in the video description or in the uh, a link to it somewhere. But just make sure you copy the text version, not the one from the video. And you'll find that in the video description or a link to it from there. And that has, if you look now, uh, script and set successfully compiled saving package so we have that sorted next job then now that's recompiled we want to go into um, our UDK binaries folder and if you haven't already done this uh, create a link to your uh, UDK .exe file now you'll either find this if you're running uh, if you're running if you want to just use the one straight in the binaries. If you're running a 32-bit uh, operating system, so uh, XP, uh, Vista 32-bit, Windows 7 32-bit, you need to look in the binaries Win32 folder for the UDK.exe application. And if you're running 64-bit, in the Win64 folder. Um, and then what you need to do, you need to create a link to it uh, and after the end of the link, so I'll just show you with the Win32 very quickly. Right click, uh, create shortcut, and you've got UDK shortcut, uh, properties, and then at the end of your target, uh, end not home, type space hyphen editor. And that, uh, you can just use that to uh, launch the editor. I'm not going to do that because I've already got one. Uh, and the, if you can't get that working, there are all sorts of things sort of on the internet or whatever. And if you can't get that working, then you probably shouldn't be doing this. So, move that to recycle bin. Yes. Now, we're going to launch the editor. So I've got a little quick launch icon down at the bottom. And I've also set it to show the log. So wait for this to load. Close the startup tips, and we can close the content browser for now, or the start page. So what you need to do is go back to Flash, and if you haven't already done so, make sure that after you've saved the file, you've done everything you want to that, press Control S, and then in the scale form launcher, test it with FX Media Player. Uh, look down, see if it's doing what you want it to to. If it is, that's fine. You've exported the SWF, and it's working. If not, go back and change it. But make sure the very last thing you do before you come back to the uh, Unreal Editor is to export it, publish it, and test it with the uh, FX Media Player. So, in the editor, open up the content browser, and you want to import. In the bottom left, click on Import a New Asset. Uh, and now I'm going to locate that. So, wherever you saved your um, wherever you saved your .fla file, the SWF will have exported to that place too. So in my case, that is the desktop. Uh, scale form tutorial. Open that. And it will give you an import dialog. Set the package to S, uh, scale form tutorial, because that's what we said earlier. Group to HUD. And the name to HUD SWF and that path scaleform tutorial dot HUD dot HUD SWF is the same one as in ST GFX HUD down here. S oh no sorry S tell a lie the package name is uh, ST assets. Sorry. 
uh, yes, stassets.hud.hudswf. And then click OK. And because we've not used any uh, bitmap graphics or PNG files or whatever, uh, we won't get anything else generated with that. So what you can do in the packages window, right click on the ST assets package and click save. It'll ask you where to save it. Um, I'm saving it in UDK, UDK game uh, content and I'm just going to save it there as um, the ST assets. And then it's appeared in the UDK, UDK game content ST assets. So we've got that set up. Now we can close out the content browser, close out the editor, go back into our stgfxhud.uc file, and remove the comment marks on the movie info in default properties. So now we've got movie info equals SWF movie apostrophe. STAssets.hud.hudSWF, which is referencing the uh, SWF file that we've just imported. Click Save and go back to Unreal Front End. And this time you just click on Make, you don't need to do a full recompile. Wait for that to do its, uh, its thing. And if you get a uh, commandlet succeeded, good. If not, the most likely problem is that you have uh, not called movie the movie info properly. You, so just go back and edit that and make sure you have got it exactly right uh, to the path. So now we should be ready to test it. And I think I've got enough time left on the YouTube video. So uh, in, in Unreal Front End again, map to play. Uh, I've just chosen DM Sanctuary. Uh, don't use cooked map, but you can if you want. Um, but that will use the maps string on the cooking tab rather than the map that you've specified here. Uh, if you've got a multi-core pr pr uh, processor, then put multi-threaded. If you if you if you've got a powerful enough computer, use that. If not, leave it off. Um, I've got show log. You don't have to. I have, but you know leave it in and resolution set it to whatever you want I've just got a smaller resolution than my actual screen so I can maximize it and then once you've done that click launch maximize out the window wait for it to load and we should have the health. Now it would appear as if I've got a bit of a problem. If you look at my health bar, apart from the fact I've spawned in somewhere completely different to what I was expecting. Oh, that's because it's a proper deathmatch. Um, and I can't quit. So I'm going to alt tab out and close it. Now my problem there was where it said the health uh, I'd got um, instead of having what should have been a hundred percent, I got um, boxes. Now that if you get those boxes, that means you haven't exported your the font that you've used hasn't worked properly. Now in my case, the reason it hasn't worked properly is in the back in the ActionScript thing on the font I haven't set that to export for ActionScript. So if you haven't done that, go to properties. Export for action script, export in frame one, and that should be fine. So now you can save that, um, test it again just to make sure that it's published and that it still looks like you expect it to. And then I'm not going to uh, bore you to death with it, but you open up the editor again, um, open up your package, and instead of importing a new SWF, click on the old SWF, right click on it, and choose re import. Uh, I'm just going to pause the video to get you to that stage so that you know roughly what you're doing. So I'll see you in a moment. And we're back. So um, I've opened up the content browser, opened up the editor, and then in our ST assets package, HUD SWF, right click on it, choose re import, and that should sort itself out. So save the package again, and then you can close out of the editor. 
and in the next video I'm going to uh, go through and check it, make sure it's working. If it isn't working, I'll show you how to debug it. If it is working, great. See you in the next video.